So I finally made it my way down under and I'm in Australia. And what is Australia known for? Amazing animals. So instead of looking out in the wild for these amazing animals, I decided to hit up this sanctuary called Moonlit Sanctuary to see what animals are here in Australia. So let's get to it. One of the great things about this sanctuary is that you can buy cheap kernels for about one dollar to two US dollars and you can walk around and feed the animals. So that's what you see me doing here. Using those corn kernels to attract this little kangaroo fellow and bring him over and let him eat out of my hands and then kidnap him and take him home because he's all mine. Now while I got the kangaroo distracted with his corn kernels, there's all these kids show up and start petting the back of this kangaroo. So you can see how calm and timid the kangaroo is just allowing these dirty little children to pet him with their dirty little hands. Just kidding. Uh, these kids seem to really enjoy petting the, the animal and the animal doesn't seem to be bothered because he's just nomming out all these kernels in my hand. Now next up we have Mary the Wombat. I don't know if you know this, but wombats are marsupials and typically brown or gray and have stubby tails to large skulls and can measure 1.3 meters long. Just check her out. Look at her. Look at her little wobbly body and wobbly butt. You probably wouldn't know this by looking at them, but they can waddle up to 40 kilometers per hour. That's damn fast and way damn too fast for me to waddle. Now the wombat seems a little bit chill. So let's go on and see another kangaroo. Like this big guy, big claws, big feet. Now this fellow here is actually a wallaby and not a kangaroo. They're a bit smaller than kangaroos, but they still eat just as much. This one keeps nomming at my hands right here, getting all this free sweet corn kernel like a little crackhead acting like it's never eaten before but damn it is fun to give him the, this corn kernel so I ended up buying like six or seven of these corn kernel containers from this moonlit sanctuary so this is how they also get their money besides the entrance tickets Now here's just another angle of this wallaby. You can see its massive body and look at what it does. It puts its claw on my arm when I slightly take the food in a different direction. It's worried I'm gonna run away with its kernels. Now one more thing that I find really hilarious is this goddamn fucking duck that's just taking advantage of all the kernels that are hitting the floor. This duck also has a never eaten in its life and it's just nomming, nomming, nom, nom, nom all the all the corn that's falling on the floor from this wallaby so you can see no kernel goes to waste next up we got the usain bolt of all koalas here this koala was going back and forth back and forth incredibly fast which was a lot different than any of the other koalas i've ever seen especially the koalas i've seen in wild that just kind of sit there and do nothing this koala was the usain bolt of all koalas now this was one of the best highlights of the whole moonlit sanctuary. I gotta chill and pet this koala here. Now to keep the koala in place, they give the koala some of these eucalyptic leaves and koalas love this shit. They love this shit so much they only eat these kind of leaves off the branch. Like if these leaves were not connected to this branch, this koala would not eat these leaves. Now one crazy fact about baby koalas is that they actually don't have the proper enzyme to digest these leaves. And you want to guess how they get those enzymes? Well, they have to eat the shit of their mother in order to obtain the enzyme to eat these leaves so that they too can shit them out. Now, I'm very fortunate here that the koala just let me pet her and did no shitting because it was a perfect way to end my time here in Moonlit Sanctuary. 